Hey guys, welcome back to Keith's Customs. We're doing some work on the F-250 again. I uh, just want to show you what I'm doing and what I'm getting done here. Do a little sanding. Started sanding here a little bit. So we started, uh, we're going to go over the whole thing. Uh, 80 grit. Cut it down. We got some rust. A uh, little bit of surface rust areas I'm taking down to bare metal. And I'll treat that and prime it. Right here. But otherwise, it's uh, it's dirty, dusty. I remember I didn't remember how dusty it is, but it's dusty. But yeah, we're starting to sand her down. And I'm not going to tape most of that because it's just sitting, tedious sanding. So. A little update. There's a little bit of surface rust right here. Cut down, treat that. There's one place on the box here. I don't know if it was bad. Must have been a little, little filler spot. Um, right in here is a low spot. So I took that down to bare metal and uh, I just have to put just a little bit of. A little bit of filler in there. But you can see that the there's a little bit of filler here that's cracked and that came through into the paint. So you can tell kind of over here it was cracked or cracking. I cut a lot of this off already. But I'm gonna take this all the way off. And I'll put a little bit of filler in here to to raise up the low spots. Uh but this is the, I think the worst spot on the, on the, on the truck. Uh, must've been a little dent there or something. And I don't know if the paint they primarily used didn't, uh, reacted funny to it because the paint was cracked. But we got that taken, we're gonna get that taken care of. Got all the molding off the truck, uh, except for the tailgate. Haven't done that yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put new clips on or not. Some of the clips seem okay. Um, there was one that I noticed was broken. So I took that one off right here. And I'll uh, have to put a, get, one, get one and put one on there. They rivet on. They have a little rivet. So, and who knows, I might replace them all. Um, we'll see as it, as it goes on here a little bit. Uh, inside, I got my insulation in here right now. Working on, I'm gonna be taking glass out. Uh, the headliner's coming out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean this trim up or not. She's kinda, she's a little crusty. We'll see. We'll see with what happens with that trim. I took out all these little snaps. They have snaps around this back window. I don't know if they, it, for some reason, you want to sleep in a cab and have privacy here in the back window area. But they had all these snaps put in. I don't want those snaps in there. I'm, not, I'm never going to cover the back window. That's what tint is for. If you want to tint it, then you can, you know, black have black tint if you want. Limousine tint. Tint. So I'll have to fill all those little holes and uh, sand it before I paint it. Still haven't taken the gas tank out. That's another project on the list. Added up all the little parts and stuff and you know, replace an order from LMC. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that because that's that adds up quick. Working on the truck. It's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. Just beautiful. Look at look at it outside. Just beautiful. Beautiful day. But 
anyway, so working on that. Uh, I'm gonna be working on the frame. And I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna take off the bumper. I do have new shocks and stuff, but I'm not gonna get that stuff on until after I pour 15 in the frame. Um, it's kind of working here and there. You know, I, I jump around. <laughs> I work on the bed a little bit. Then I work, come back and work on the cab, and I work inside. So I'm just kind of jumping around on it. You know, they don't want to get sick of one area. Uh, other than that, it's coming along. Come along. A little sanding here and there. These mirrors, uh, I got new hardware. Yeah, I'll show you on the other mirror here. I got some new hardware, some stainless stuff. So here's a, here's the old hardware, but here's the new. Oh, here's a new one right here. Nice stainless. I gotta. I'm gonna take this apart and, and polish everything. But that's nice new stainless hardware on there. And look at how this side of this mirror cleaned up here cleaned up really nice and I got the polished up here pretty good that's nice compared to I don't know if you can see it this side here I still have to do yet but that's that's how it cleaned up it cleaned up pretty nice I'm happy with that I'll put new hardware on here, you know, where, where it mounts. Got new windshield seals coming and rear window. Uh, so I'm gonna be pulling the glass. Uh, hopefully it comes out in one piece. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna, I mean, it's good glass. There's no cracks or anything in it, so. Uh, this has the chrome trim on it, so I, when you're ordering this stuff, if you have chrome trim, you got to order the seal with the groove in it for the chrome trim. Uh, I guess you just cut it out, and then I'm going to have a windshield place come over and put, it, put the new stuff in. So i give you an update. Again, I'm not going to cover most any of the sanding because it's just dirty, dusty, tedious. So everybody knows what sanding is. Uh, cutting it down with 80, and then I'll treat the spots that have surface rust on them, and then shoot that with primer sealer and uh, fill where I need to fill. Especially this area right here, get that. I get all, that all leveled up, smooth. And then uh, I'll go over the whole thing with 120. And then uh, I'm gonna not do anything with the inside of the bed because I'm gonna herculine this anyway, or rhino line it, whatever you wanna call it. Put it in that textured black bed liner. So I'm just gonna scuff this up and uh, put that rhino liner bed in there. So that'll be all up on the sides, everything. That should be pretty nice. It's, it's a nice coating, protects stuff, and it looks nice. You know, it's nice, it's just black. It'll be just black. But I just thought I'd give you an update. Uh, more to come on the 250. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do help support the channel and you'll see all the great content we get coming in this truck. I think I found a motor. It's a running 360. Originally was a 360 in the truck. So that's what I want to put back in it. So. Oh. Oh, okay. And I put some more lube on those. All right, so. Yeah, 360, original motor, going to be going back in it. Uh, 
I'm not putting air conditioning back in. I think it's gonna be way too expensive. I looked at it, it's like sixteen hundred dollars. I'm not gonna put that in. It's I got the vent windows and you get those turned back and it's just like you know, air conditioning, just like fresh air blowing in on you. So that'll all come out. Uh this old exhaust is gonna be coming out. I'm probably gonna run uh no, not that. That's not gonna be what I'm running. Uh, but it should bolt right up to the original engine purchase. And then uh, this motor doesn't have a transmission, so I'm going to have to get a transmission for it. Uh, the transmission I bought is a, it's a C6, but it's a 385 series for big blocks. So that won't work uh, with this motor. I uh, got some suspension stuff coming. Uh, tie rod end, uh, bushings, but I got that stuff coming, so we'll do, be doing some suspension work. That all tape all of it. Uh, let's see, uh, I got some brake stuff, brake rebuild kit. We're gonna pull the wheels and see how the brakes are. Uh, this truck's got, it's got disc brakes in the front, which surprised me. I don't know if you can see them in there. Probably not. Let's go around the side here. So there they are. Yeah, looks like we're going to need some, uh, little bit of, ooh. Ooh, that's a little loose, buddies. Okay. Well, <laughs> lucky we don't have to stop. Uh, getting shocks. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to be getting new calipers. And uh, maybe rotors. Well, we'll get the, we'll get the wheel pull off and uh, we'll see what we need. But I, I like it. It's got front wheels. It's the front wheel disc brake truck. Of course, there's drums in the rear. But brisk, disc brakes are always nicer up front to, you know, for stopping power. Uh, so a lot of, lot of material coming up on the truck. So tune in and uh, we'll go through this, uh, this adventure together. All right. Well, as always. Have a good one.